my name is Sergey Nikolaev. I'm working at Skolkova Institute of Science and Technology, which is located in Moscow. It's a very young university, just five years. Totally international organization. The name of my lab is actually quite ambitious. <laughs> it's a Cyber Physical Systems Lab. Our lab was built to serve one aim, to understand what digital twin is and what digital technology can actually bring to the industry. We um, try to teach students also how they will get the maximum benefits from the combination of different approaches. For example, from 1D to 3D to test to verification. In Sim Center, you can go through different physics, different uh, tasks very easily, like a, like a fish. <laughs> no. Our um, ongoing project is a project with a Tupolev, it's a Russian aviation manufacturer. And what we do there, we combine different CFD tools into Team Center and also build some uh, scripts for automation of the analysis. We help them to implement this informational inf infrastructure. Also, we work with a fuel cell manufacturer. Over there, we actually trying to implement all the technology of digital twins of their fuel cells. We work with the space industry, as it's more traditional, and there uh, it's team center and Siemens PLM. So for us, it's uh, e easy to conversate with them. The PLM, in most cases, it's like more than, like a PDM stage. So it's like just for designers and industrial engineers sometimes. But as for simulation guys, for 1D and 3D and even tests, they're not inside. They're outside this PLM system. What we're doing, we show them how it can work together and making some pilot projects and some real projects uh, showing what's the result. Digital twin technology in combination with uh, uh, IoT and uh, machine learning, I mean data analysis, it's the three technologies will shape the future of the design and manufacturing. Uh, the companies uh, which will not adapt to this uh, new technologies will just die and go out from the market. And it's very simple. Mm -hmm.